Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Volkswagen Touran. If you are a fan of mechanics, then Volkswagen will give you the opportunity to buy a Touran with any engine, except for the 1.4 TSI version with 170 horsepower and a CAVB index. All other variants are equipped with a 5 or 6 speed manual transmission as standard. Fans of classic automatic transmissions were less fortunate. It is found only in versions with 1.6 and 2.0 FSI engines before the first restyling of 2006. As a result, finding a car with such a machine gun is run unrealistic. With the robot DSG, there are already much more of them. Diesel engines are handled strictly by the DQ250 with an oil bed clutch and the gearbox is generally quite reliable. But with gasoline engines, the situation is more complicated. The DQ250 can only be found with the 1.4 TSI 170 horsepower engines on machines manufactured before 2008. After that, they already installed the DQ200. To be honest, early versions of this box deserve all the unflattering epithets that it is awarded with. Now the situation is being corrected, but on old DSG machines, it may still be with old selector fork bearings and with old mechatronics, which automatically means very high chances of serious trouble. Since the drive can only be front-wheel drive, there is no need to expect any special problems in the transmission, unless it can sometimes upset the inner city joint on cars with high mileage. If it cracks at the start, then almost certainly the real mileage of the car is 250, 300 thousand or even more, no matter what the odometer says. With powerful motors and DSJ, external CV joints are also noticeably less than with manual transmissions. In almost all six-speed manual transmissions, with a rare oil change and long winter slippage, the differential can go for a walk right through their body. But this is a relatively rare phenomenon and that requires the coincidence of a number of negative factors. But the wear of the switching mechanism for all boxes with runs for 250 300,000 is rather than inevitability. The backlash by this moment has passed the comfortable limit. Usually replacing the rocker insert VAG1KO7116 a improves the situation, but sometimes replacing or restoring the intermediate lever 1KO711203H helps. Often the gear shift mechanism itself is worn out, and this scenario is more common with the six-speed manual transmission. As a reminder, dual mass fly wheels are a part with a limited service life. If there are knocks, it can be replaced or repaired, but it is not worth bringing to self-disassembly. Both the manual transmission housing and the starter will suffer. The extremely rare automatic gearbox O9G, aka ICN TF61SN, was paired with FSI engines before the first restyling. The box is characterized by high reliability of the mechanical part and an equally high percentage of failures due to a rear oil change and pollution and overheating of the valve body. With frequent oil changes and a modified cooling system, the automatic transmission shows a very good resource, more than 300,000 km. With standard cooling and with a rare oil change, the valve body will twitch after hundreds of thousands. The bulk of the automated Volkswagen Touran is equipped with a 7-speed DSJ pre-selective gearbox of the DQ200 series. This box was produced before 2011-2012, have obvious errors both in the mechanical part and in the electronic hydraulic unit, mechatronics. Moreover, hardware errors are quite common and lead to costly consequences. At a minimum, the box without fail requires replacing the bearings of the shift works and installing a modified differential. Mechatronics also has enough problems. Now you can buy modified new options at the price of about 80,000 rubles, or you can repair the old one. But a few years ago, repairs were carried out completely handicraft, and the price of a new part was several, several hundred thousand rubles. Today, most of the negative on this part accumulated in social networks and forums is no longer very relevant, but nevertheless, the box of old issues remains potentially problematic. DSG versions of 2013-2015 are noticeably more reliable. If you also take care of the clutch handle the traction correctly and do not bring the differential to the breakdown, then the resource of more than 150,000 km is injured. After this round, you will have to clean the mechatronics, change the bearings of the mechanical part, check the forks, the condition of the differential and, of course, the clutch package from Luke and the dual mass flywheel. Unfortunately, the work is not always carried out efficiently. It is not uncommon for problems to reappear after the first major repair. The two compressors are controlled by a complex throttle valve system and the intake manifold is more than one and a half meters long with more than a dozen connections. One of the definite advantages in comparison with the very common CIXA 122 horsepower is the presence of a full-fledged air-to-air intercooler, 
which works efficiently, is little contaminated by the crankcase ventilation system and doesn't depend on the operation of the electric pump. Cons – everything else. That is, the complexity of the design, age, the high price of the number of components, the high cost of errors in the control system and the consequences of poor quality maintenance. Of course, the thrust and consumption of a serviceable motor is very good. Better than new generations of EA211 engines with advanced turbocharging systems, but unfortunately the cons are outweighed. When buying a motor, it definitely requires thorough diagnostics, checking the operation of two compressors and careful listening to the timing system. The motors with the standard CDJA series LPG turn out to be very successful. These engines from the factory have a cold thermostat and reinforced piston group and valves. They delight with a consistently higher resource and before the first intervention in the piston, more than 300,000 often pass. The timing belt also lasts longer here, but remember that LPG cylinders corrode and explode. The 1.2 TSI supercharged motors that appeared after restyling combine simplicity and reliability, but only on the condition that they have a modified chain and a wastegate actuator. Here is an A12 cylinder head, simpler and stronger than the one used in the 1.4 liter TSI engines. The chain on early engines was famous for its extremely low resource, slipping after 330,000 runs. But those motors have long been modernized and the new kits have a resource for 120,000 km, and since 213 the chains have become even more reliable. Their piston group is strong and the motors themselves are not prone to detonation at all. Turbine problems are mainly related to the use of the wastegate damper motor. Failure of the V565 actuator is not very predictable, and sometimes it can be corrected with small forces, simply by eliminating the gaps in the actuator. Sometimes the solenoid needs to be changed. Fortunately, it is now available as a separate part, and the entire turbine is not changed. Diesel engines can be divided into two groups. Before the second restyling, engines with unit injectors of the EA188 family with a volume of 1.9 and 2.0 liters were installed. And if in the first engines the main problems were, are related precisely to the wear of the crankshafts, the resource and the setting of the pump injectors, then the 2-liter ones also add troubles with cracking of the cylinder head and pistons. Injectors or 2-liter cars may not be electromagnetic, but piezoelectric, much more expensive and less resourceful. Other troubles are comparatively inexpensive. Fortunately, not all modifications have a particular filter. You can search without it, so as not to spend money on shutdown. An EGR here is quite conservative and therefore lasts a long time and falls the intake slowly. Since 2010, engines with common rail injection of the EA189 series with a volume of 1.6 and 2.0 liters have been supplied. They have much fewer questions about the fuel equipment, it is reliable and well diagnosed, but EGR breaks down much faster. Among diesel engines, the 2-liter diesel engines with 16 valve cylinder heads and unit injectors need to be wary of the most. They are too forced, and their cylinder head casting is weak, which caused many problems. The very common 1.9 TDI in 90-105 horsepower variants extremely reliable, especially the BLS BXG versions. The AVQ and BXE motors are also good, but the first two are slightly inferior. Common minor troubles are oil leaks, which occur mainly due to breakdowns of crankcase ventilation elements. With age, plastic tubes crack and rubber tubes rot. Antifreeze leaks most often occur through the tube between the third and fourth cylinder. The drive of additional units suffers from a low resource of the tensioner roller, which sometimes leads to slipping and breaking of the belt. In this case, the remains of the belt fall under the timing belt cover and lead to staling grind. It is necessary to change the belt with the roller open and to monitor their condition constantly. Of the serious problems, we know the hard to detect wear of the crankshaft liners after 200 250,000 mileage. Most often, it is found on cars that like to drive in thick gear with a load and at idle. Automatic transmission doesn't allow such a mode, but with mechanics, it's quite possible to go like this. Since the motors are very vibrated, it's difficult to detect knocks at an early stage. Every second time in change, at least once every 90,000 km, it is advisable to remove the pallet and check the main and connecting rod bearings. Moreover, it will be nice for the connecting rod to change the bolts. Alteration ruins not only the crankshaft but also the unit injectors, which are driven from it. It is also causes seizures of rockers, bushings and cylinder head beds. The pump injectors themselves are expensive, about 50,000 rubles each, and do not differ in reliability. 
poor fuel will kill them quickly and steel leaks over time begin to affect starting performance. In addition, they sharply increase the wear of the plunger pair, which in this case runs dry at startup. If the engine doesn't start immediately after a couple of days of inactivity, then most likely the injectors need to be sorted out. Fortunately, they are quite amenable to repair, although it's not cheap, and quality control of the work is difficult. Of course, it is worth monitoring the condition of the old pump. Its resource is open no more than 200,000 km, so checking its condition is a mandatory procedure when replacing the timing. In case of leaks in the pump ejectors, the compression rings of the piston coke causing oil in consumption and there are very real chances to see what happens when the engine is running at a speed. The emergency flap on the intake is usually overgrown with dirt and doesn't work on older cars. EGR on this engine is slightly more loaded and problems with it occur more often. And pump injectors on motors up to 2006 come across with the piezo valves to leak in a de-energized state as not as fatal as on common rail systems, but the entire nozzle will have to be replaced and this is expensive. It would be better to replace all four injectors along with the harness and control module. Since the motors are boosted more than the 1.9 liter ones, the load on the old pump is even higher, and you need to carefully monitor its condition. To do this, it is advisable to remove the pallet every 30-60 km, especially if there is an old modification with the chain drive, not gears. On engines manufactured before 2007, it is better to replace the old pump with a new one, with the shaft drive. Unfortunately, it is impossible to predict the imminent demise of the oil pump by indirect signs. The pressure drop can be very small almost until the very failure of the pump, and the faulty unit doesn't give out an unnecessary sound. And if the crankshaft starts knocking, it's too late to engage in the oil pump. Here you will have to do a lot of repairs, at least with the restoration of the crankshaft and turbine. Most recent diesel engines of the EA288 series are definitely more reliable. But they also have very delicate nozzles, and on 1.6 liter engines of early releases, there are generally piezo injectors prone to failure after 5 to 6 years of operation. They easily fill the cylinder so that you can not only burn through the piston but also catch a water hammer. There are no problems with the old pressure in the cylinder head, but liners or on aging motors are still at risk. At the first suspicion or knocking, they must be changed, and to extend the resource, do not drive at too low speeds. On this, information on the problems of the Volkswagen Touran 1 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.